All right, everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome back to my channel. I was reading my messages, as like I always do, my comments, on, on my videos and on the MSI B450M April Max 2. So I'm gonna ask me a question. Can you resize, can you reset the resizable bar on this motherboard? The answer is yes. Yes, I'm gonna show you here the MSI B450 M April Max 2. I'm gonna show you the specs again. Now y'all keep in mind, y'all see it in the corner there. There is not that much room for overclocking. You got light VRMs here and there. So you have light VRMs, so which just means voltage regular modules for people who's buying this board and don't know anything about building systems or anything about motherboards. So question is, the B450M April Max 2 do not have a 8 pin connector for overclocking. A lot of people ask that this motherboard has ARGB um, mechanism, the five volts to add on to the board. The answer is no. If you want to add ARGB, you have to buy an ARGB fans with the controller hub. Um, it don't have a pump, so you have to go air cooler with it. Now, some AIOs have it where you can connect the pump through the CPU um, pin header, but the, 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 uh, the B500s and higher and the newer motherboards has a pump controller added to that motherboard. So, what I'm gonna be doing in this video is here is showing you how to enable the resize bar on the MSI B450M A Pro Max 2 motherboard because a lot of people buying these motherboard here is a great option great budget motherboard the RAM goes up to 64 gigabit of RAM it's only two sticks four sticks still the same thing has your, your channel A and your channel B if we go quad quad core memory so you can just add accessible memory but a lot of gamers noticing that it's kind of iffy in setting your XMP um, headers in the motherboard. The highest RAM frequency of this motherboard is 5000 megahertz. but I'll be adding all that information in the description below. So enough talking, let me take you right over to my computer. Let's get cracking into it so we can go ahead and show you how to enable your resize bar on the MSI B450M April Max 2 motherboard. Okay, everybody, as of startup, turn on your PC, like always. When you turn on your PC, you want to start hitting the delete button to enter the BIOS. Once you hit the delete button and enter the BIOS, we go to the next stage. Alrighty, we are into the BIOS. As you see, all the specs into the BIOS, you can turn your a AXMP on when you add overclocking memory. That's all this motherboard it does is just basically you can add overclocking memory. You see my specs, I am on the AMD Ryzen 7 2700X 8 core 16 thread processor. Some of y'all probably said, Ron, why you didn't update it? Because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on the new processor. Now, enough with that. You're going to go into settings. Once you do that there, you're going to click settings. Once you click settings, you're going to go to advance. When you click advance, you're going to see me have it highlighted PCIe PCI subsystem settings. You're going to click that. And there you see your resize bar. Now I enabled my resize bar. Once you get to the resize bar support, you click that. It's going to be disabled. So you're going to click it. If you want to enable it, if you are using a Ryzen 7 5800X3D with the AMD Ryzen RX GPU 
of your choice. Now, if you go to the PCIe 4.0 GPUs, just keep in mind that this motherboard only supports PCIe 3.0. Just keep that in mind. So, if you do go to that, then you don't mind the speeds. You still probably get the same frame per second. But I will be putting a video from a content creator who tested it out running a PCIe Gen 4 GPU on a PCIe Gen 3 motherboard slot. So now, to access your resize bar support, you're going to click on this here. It's going to say resize bar support, disable or enable. You're going to enable it. You're going to hit F10. You, and then you're going to hit yes to keep the current changes of your BIOS. Once you hit yes, you reboot your system, and I'm going to take you to the next stage of where you know that your resize bar is on. All right, everybody, how y'all doing? Now, I'm on the conclusion of this here. Now, some of y'all probably say, hey, how do I know if my resize bar is enabled? The only to find that out, you're going to need TechPar GPU-Z version 2.590. Once you download that and access it, it is going to go ahead on and show you the resize bar. Now, I already have it open already, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide it down to the main screen. Alrighty, as you see, you see to the bottom here, it's going to tell you all your specs. I am on the AMD Radon RX 580-2048SP GDDR5 GPU. This GPU came out in 2007, so this GPU is not accessible on the resize bar to access the SAM qualifications, which is smart access memory from the GPU and CPU. That works on the 5,000 CPUs as well as the 6,000 and higher RX. Radon 6,000 and 7,000 series GPU. Now, if you are on a GPU that is with memory GDDR6 or GDDR6X, it will work for that. Now, in the lower corner, you see a thing called AMD Crossfire. Mine is disabled because I don't have anything dealing with Crossfire. It will say it's resizable bar. Enable. When you see that that enable, it is operational. It is ready to go. And then it tells you all my computing, OpenCL, no CUDA, direct compute on uh, compute, direct ML, Vulkan, and it has OpenGL 4.6. This GPU do not have ray tracing, etc. No CUDA, no um, physical X. So my GPU is old. Yes, it is old. This GPU came out in 2007. To access the resizable bar, people, please understand what I'm saying. You need to be on the latest and qualified tech such as your GPU and your motherboard to access the resizable bar with um, smart access memory from the CPU to the GPU. Now, that concludes that. Keep in mind, this is only a non-overclocking motherboard. So if you are an overclocker, then you need to go to the B500 series, such as the B550 motherboards or the X570 motherboards if you are on a tight budget. If you are a, a upgrade for, uh, fanatic, yet you constantly got to upgrade, upgrade, they need to be on the AM5 platform, the X600 series motherboards. Yes. And then you do the same thing like I showed you. You go into your BIOS, you go into your settings if you have MSI, and then you go into the um, settings, the um, advanced settings, and then you'll see the PCIe, PCI um, sector. You click on that and you X, and then you enable it. That is it. That's all you have to do. A lot of people sit down here about this um, B450 motherboard, um, Max 2. 
this motherboard do not have addressable RGB. So if you want RGB, you have to buy an RGB controller hub with the fans or buy one from um, Razer. I think Cosair sell them, but you have to connect it through your USB um, motherboard port that is open for that. Other than that, that's it. That's all I have to say about how to access the resize bar. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I try my best to give you more tips and tech issues dealing with that. Um, I'll put my email address down there. We say, hey, Ron, can you show me how to do this here? I always read my emails. I always read my comment section dealing with my videos. So feel free to put up your comments and I answer them the best way to my knowledge. And if you don't understand what I'm saying in the question section, then I will do a, a quick tutorial video to show you how to access anything dealing from your motherboards. Um, if you're looking for these RGB fans, that's great. Now y'all keep in mind, I will not be buying any more uh, PC component probably because I am overstacked with it. I'm not doing any upgrades with my motherboards or any parts in my house. Everything is set, everything is final, and that's why basically it. I will see y'all in the next tutorial. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.